Yes, uh, I've been into town this morning. Uh, uh, at, a, at a meeting with a mate of mine uh, in Cafe Nero's, um, you know, and uh, about an hour or so. Uh, at a wander, yeah, wander in the town. Um, it, it, it's not important, is it? You know, I mean, come on. We we got to be more important things to discuss. But actually, the other, the other reason for going to town, you may notice uh, getting getting myself a bit of a haircut, you see. There. You see, that's not bad, is it, there, do you see? Yeah, um... <sighs> Turkish barbers, actually. Mostly Turkish. But this guy, um, Iraqi. Yeah, Iraqi. I, I, I never... Uh, I mean, I knew the uh, most of them were Turks in there, and I, I never bothered to ask, you know. And I thought, well, I'll ask him where he's from, you know. Apparently from uh, the, uh, you know, there's a region there, I, you know, my geography, please. Uh, I have trouble, you know, finding certain parts of my own body, never mind other countries. But uh, no, he's from, uh, he's from this particular region, but he was telling me that uh, it's like... Um, It must be near that Mount Ararat, you know, where where the the, the fabled uh, the ark came to rest, as it were, with with Noah and all the bloody animals and two by two, you know, four by four by six, that sort of thing, you know. And uh, uh, the fucking stench in that ark must have been something rotten, I tell you. Cool. Can you imagine that forty days and fourteen bloody nights with all those animals. Cool humping away and the bloody noise and the stench and the urine all pissing out through the gullies and oh dear I wouldn't have fancied it myself but uh, you know it's it's what had to be done at the end of the day so anyway it comes to rest uh, on top of Mount Ararat because um, it it was that guy, I forgot who he bloody was, but he he did go in search of it, didn't he, some years ago. I mean, he, what the hell was that all about? He might as well have gone to the bloody moon. More chance of finding it on the bloody moon. You know, um, I reckon that's where the Apollo 11 landed, you know, on the bloody Mount Ararat and stuck the flag in and filmed it. Now, I don't believe all that. I do believe we... Absolutely, I mean, I think it's an insult to say we didn't go to the moon. But anyway, um, yeah, this guy, nice guy, uh, I don't know what his name was, but Iraqi, yeah, he, he was saying, you know, he's in a lot of trouble, of course, out there, uh, you know, with the ISIS. Um, it's not pleasant, is it, you know? Um, and of course, uh, Turkey, well... Uh, but I was saying to him uh, some years ago, um, whether it was a wise thing, I don't know. I, I just, it tickled me. It did tickle me. I thought, um, basically, you do a little swab on the old thing and you send it off. And uh, they do analysis of your mitochondrial DNA, you know, from your mother's side. And um, what it come back as, you know, they were saying that, you know how true apparently there were these 10 tribes but that sounds a bit sounds a bit of a myth to me but who knows you know apparently there were 10 tribes and uh, i was telling them i said like, you know i said it's funny you should say that yeah you know you know syria and that sort of area i said because uh, that's where they tracked me down that's where they it's that's where it's supposed to be my genetic heritage harks back to the uh that area you know, that neck of the woods uh, of course, <laughs> since then, you know, we got all the bloody uh, whew, Viking uh, Germanics and the Norse blood, you know, that's what's, that's what's pulsing through my bloody veins, you know, these days, I'll have you, yes, oh yes indeed, sir. So, uh, you know, does it show? I mean, yeah, I mean, if I grew my beard, you see, I mean, it'd be going grey now, but there'd be a lot of red in it, you see, a lot of red because of that. That, that bloody Viking, you know, that's in there, you see, you can't get rid of that, that's bloody stuck there, that is, you know, I don't carry an axe, a battle axe with me, you know, um, I don't feel the need for it, you know, I don't, 
I feel safe on the streets. Um, I don't know how you feel about that. Um, uh, I take my chances, really. And so... Um, Oh, forgive them. We've all forgiven the Vikings. I mean, we've forgiven, we've forgiven all of them, really. And we've forgiven the Germans and the, you know, the uh, Japanese. And the... there are people we we will never forgive. Um, but they shall remain nameless. Um, so, yes. So yes, I've had my hair cut, and um, uh, I do feel better for it. You know. My head feels noticeably lighter, um, nice and clean around the ears. Yeah, I mean, uh, some of the guys up there in that area of the world, you know, we do know, we do worry, you know, because, uh, you know, we, uh, it's this sort of, uh, whew, you know, kind of, whew. no, 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 I won't go into that, but, um, yeah, it's a shady old business. But uh, uh, no, you know, no disrespect and all that, you know. Um, and done me any harm. So, um, anyway. Okay. I think that's me about done now. And uh, I shall catch up with you later. Okay. Bye.